Hello everyone and welcome to my video about Whispers of the Dead in Diablo 4. Today I will explain what Whispers of the Dead are, how to complete them and what rewards you can get. Whispers of the Dead are a new system in Diablo 4 that is similar to the bounty system in Diablo 3. They are a part of the endgame content that you unlock after finishing the campaign and they involve completing various uh, objectives across different regions of Sanctuary based on the tasks given to you by the Tree of Whispers. The Tree of Whispers, on the other hand, is a giant tree with hanging heads located in the swamp region of Harzar. It calls upon adventurers, that is you, to tie up loose ends and settle old scores. To complete Whispers of the Dead, you need to seek out the different Whispers on the map. These Whispers are marked by a specific icon on the map and involve killing specific enemies, finding hidden locations and more. Basically, there are different types of whispers such as assassinations, completing dungeons, harvesting anima, doing certain local events, PvP activities, world events, culling groups of enemies and more. Each whisper will grant you experience, gold and grim favors. Grim favors are valuable items or a source so to speak, that you need to collect in order to appease the Tree of Whispers. You can earn more Grim Favors by completing more challenging or time-consuming tasks. The more difficult tasks are marked by a deep red color on the map, while less rewarding ones appear in pastel red or pink shades. Each type of Whisper also has a different icon on the map. For certain Whispers that require you to find a body to interact with in order to hunt down a certain enemy that spawns after, you can click on the whisper on the map in order to show the area inside which said body can spawn. So be sure to click on the icon to reveal the zone. You can see how many grim favors you have by having a quick look at the bottom of the world map and seeing the grim favors gorge basically. You can only collect 10 grim favors at once though. After you have gathered 10 grim favors, you then need to return to the tree of whispers and give it your offering. Doing so will reward you with a large amount of character experience and a choice of loot cache that contains a variety of equipment including legendary items and crafting materials. The Tree of Whispers can also reward you with Nightmare Sigils, which are items that can open up Nightmare Dungeons. These are special dungeons that offer more challenge and rewards than normal dungeons. And especially in regards to those Sigils, the Tree of Whispers seems to be a great source of acquiring them. There is also a rumor that there is a penalty for failing to complete Whispers of the Dead. The Tree of Whispers may send collectors after you to enforce retribution for breaking the pact. This creates a bounty system where collectors ensure that unfulfilled contracts are completed. I'm guessing it means that if you do not complete a whisper, you might be haunted by enemies here and there. However, I would just suggest you complete whichever whisper you are after, so there's no need to worry, right? Whispers of the Dead are designed to be rather easy, but fun with a low difficulty level. This provides a relaxed and flexible gameplay experience, allowing you to choose objectives based on your preference and playstyle. In addition to getting valuable rewards and experience, you can also accomplish several achievements at the Tree of Whispers. These achievements reward you with titles that you can display on your character, for example. And some of these titles you can earn from the Whispers of the Dead would be cool ones such as Apprentice, Traveler, Bewitching, Reaper, Bitter, Mercy, Bounty and probably many more. I mean, how cool would it sound? Bewitching Neferia. Okay, I just made that up. I don't. Anyway, that's all for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more Diablo 4 content in the future. Thank you for watching and I see you next time. Bye!